Leo Anthony Manta, hanged April the 28th, 1959. At 12.07 a.m. on Tuesday, April the 28th, 1959, Leo Anthony Manta, 32, was hanged down an old elevator shaft at the Ocala Prison Farm in Burnaby, British Columbia, for the September the 6th, 1958 stabbing death of Aaron Hetherington Jenkins. Aaron Hetherington Jenkins, a.k.a. Bud, aged 23, at Her Majesty's Canadian Ship Nadeau Naval Base at Esquimo, British Columbia. It was British Columbia's last hanging. Both men had been involved in a sexual relationship which the younger man wished to end. This led to a physical altercation on the evening of Saturday, September the 5th, during which Mantha hit Jenkins so hard that small shards of skull were driven into Bud's brain. After Jenkins fled, Manta consumed a 24-ounce bottle of rye whiskey, then snuck onto the naval base, where he entered Jenkins' room and attacked him with a knife, a knife with a 10-inch blade, slashing his right eye and inflicting a a 7.5-inch neck wound that narrowly missed Bud's juggler vein. Screaming and covered in blood, Jenkins managed to stagger from the room before he collapsed and died. At first, the Navy believed Jenkins had committed suicide, but when questioned by the police, a distraught Manta made the first of three confessions to the murder. At trial, Manta's defense suggested that Jenkins would have died from his earlier brain injury, even if he hadn't been stabbed, and that this crime of passion was actually manslaughter. But after five hours, a Victoria jury found Leo guilty of murder. Mantha took 12 minutes to die. The hangman was Camille Branchaud, B-R-A-N-C-H-A-U-D, Branchaud. The condemned man's last meal was a T-bone steak, which he ate with a spoon, as he wasn't allowed any sharp implements. A 19-year-old who had killed his brother, Robert Chapman, was to have hanged at the same time as Manta, but as sometimes happened, when the federal cabinet was confronted by two men scheduled to die, they commuted one sentence to life imprisonment, that of Chapman, while Manta went to his death. I will leave it to listeners to decide for themselves if Manta would have hanged if he had murdered a female as opposed to a male lover. The main source for today's video was the chapter on Leo Anthony Manta in Alan Hustick's book, They Were Hanged. I also looked at an online article, B.C.'s Last Execution, by Nathaniel Christopher, which quotes extensively from a contemporary news story by Jean Howarth, a reporter for the Vancouver province, and the first woman to witness a private, i.e. inside prison walls, execution in Canada. It's intense reading, and I encourage you to do so. All other sources, including some further articles by Christopher, are linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, comment, and consider subscribing to The Gallows, where we explore Canadian murder cases 
which ended on the scaffold. And remember, if you're born to hang, you'll never be shot. Cheers.